Well, an L.A. street is about to go from great to even greater. Anna Marco shows us what the mayor's Great Streets Challenge is all about. This is the city's idea of a great street, and the mural art on the walls ain't shabby either. I believe in beauty, and my job is creating beauty. And we have seen from the mural the effect that beauty has on people. They love it, it makes them smile and wave and laugh, and it's created a positive vibration in this, on this street, our great street. In fact, South Robertson Boulevard, or SoRo as the natives call it, is considered so great by city leaders, they have awarded it the mayor's Great Streets Challenge Grant, which will allow residents and merchants a chance to create their own bigger, better, and greater version of SoRo. We'd like to see more restaurants extending outdoor seating areas so that we can have dining outside, um, shifting some of the, uh, the speed of the traffic, uh, slowing it down. I would like to see more foot traffic and a more bicycle friendly area. We're pushing right now for a bicycle corral. The one consistent thing that people said everywhere all over the city was I want to be able to walk on a, out on a street at night and just simply have my neighborhood be more livable. I want to see people out on the street. Soro area residents beat out 36 other neighborhoods for the grant. Their detailed list for comprehensive improvements just made them the winners. We are uh, approaching a new way of, a, of implementing projects. Instead of a top-down approach, a grassroots approach where community organizations can bring us their vision. South Robertson may be the gateway to Beverly Hills and WeHo, but soon residents hope it will become not just a gateway, but a pedestrian-friendly destination. I'm Anna Marcos for LA This Week. The South Robertson Boulevard area straddles City Council Districts 5 and 10.